Hello everyone, I'm Zhao Jingjiang from BIT. Today I'm very excited to introduce Vue.js environment on BIT. Vue.js is one of the most popular JavaScript frameworks which enables developers to build web applications in great experience, especially with single file components. And we believe as a component-based development tool and platform, BIT can bring it to the next level. That's why we have this view environment. For this, I have prepared a demo. And in this demo, you will see how we can use BIT to build a Vue.js component and use it in your application folder. Before we start, let's assume that the BCLI has already been well installed. And when this video is recorded, the Vue.js environment on BIT is still in beta. So if you find anything unmatched in the real world, please refer to our website, bit.dev, for the latest information. At the same time, if you have any feedback, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Now, let's get started. First of all, let's create a new big workspace. Let's open the terminal and run bit new, which create a new workspace. The workspace template name is view, and we give a uh, workspace name by view workspace and then we set up the environment which is team bit view slash view and we can also give it a default scope which is can use my name and my scope yeah let's run it Okay, after some logs and uh, printed information, now we can see the workspace has been well created. Uh, let's open it in VS Code. Okay, now you can see this is the workspace uh, in VS Code. Uh, you can see there are several configuration files and uh, my scope folder, which is the yeah include two existing preset components to see all of them let's open the terminal and run bit list so this command will list all the components we have already yeah so here uh the my view environment is the Vue.js environment we use, we will use today and we're not running into the details of the environment. Uh, just like to know that uh, we can use this environment to build our own view components folder and even view apps. Yeah, uh, let's see what we can create. Uh, we can run the templates to see uh, what kind of things we can create in this environment. Yeah, here the list. So we can see the view which is the, the template name is view which is uh corresponding to the view components we can also create a view composables view application and even another view in customize a view environment if you like next we are creating a view component for demo let's run bit create and give the template name view and we can give a component name like ui my first so this command will create a view component for us. Yeah, you can see the component has been created. And let's run bit install. Usually we have to, we need to run bit install to make sure all the dependencies are ready for use. At the same time, let's take a look at the, what the component is. So it's still inside the MyScope folder and the UI subfolder and my first folder. So this component or it's a folder you can see first there is the that's the main implementation of the view component so here by default it's a simple counter you can yeah you can easily uh, refer to then we have a spec.ts file which is the which to place the test cases if you want and also there is a docs.md which is the documentation docs of the components you can put we also have a composition file which includes several other view files for usage or for examples we can also reuse those examples for testing as this file does 
And now all the dependencies have been well installed, I think. Yeah, uh, now it's time to preview what the component looks like locally. Let's run bit. Yeah, we can run bit start. Start the local dev server to see what the component looks like. Okay, cool. We can see all its components in this workspace. And yeah, we can we can uh, expand all its components here and click my first UI my first to see what it looks like. It is the counter, just as expected, right? And also it includes the dogs. That's the preview. Uh, we can also try to modify uh, the color of the button. Let's go back to the VS Code. And um, uh, yeah, here, maybe we can change the color into red and save. And yeah, technically it would be well refreshed automatically. Let's go back to the preview. We can see the button has become red. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's how we preview and lively modify the code if you want. Now let's start the server by control C and see something else. To test the components, we can run another big command, bit test. Yeah, you can see we already have the, some test cases here. So let's run bit test to see the test result. Yeah, so generally this test case just run the counter and see whether there's a certain text thing there. So yeah, you can see the test has been all passed. That's about testing. So in bits, we have more than that. We have more than those commands you can use. You can find all the big commands by running bits. Yeah, you can see all the commands you can use. And also another way to find all of them is going to our website bit.dev to check the CLI references page. Okay, now we have well created a view component. To further use it, let's tag it as a new version and export it onto the BitCloud. First, let's make sure we have a scope with the same name as here we create as scope. That's the default scope we create uh, for the workspace. So all the components in this workspace will by default will belong to this uh, scope. So next step, we can run bit tag. This command will build all the components in this workspace and generate a new version for each of them. And then after that, we can public them further by another command bit export. Okay, now you can see uh, from the, uh, the terminal that all the three components have been well tagged with version. All the versions are 0 0.0.1. Um, then we can just run the next command bit export to publish all the components onto the bit cloud to the certain scope we have created. So let's go, go back to bit cloud. This is the this is the exact the same component, including the environment. I have already created a tag and export it before the demo, but they are actually exactly the same thing. Um, to further reuse them, uh, we can click the use menu to see there's uh, several different ways to reuse them, including importing them or forking them or just uh, simply installing them. So bit, we also have other options like install at a uh, npm package where uh, npm your or pmpm. But before that, don't forget to set the uh, scope registry uh, through the npm config uh, command. Next, I will show you an example how to reuse an in, uh, existing view project. So let's go back to the terminal. Uh, I think we already have a view project based on Vite. Let's open it, Vite project. Okay, so 
Yeah, now you can see this is an uh, existing VIT project we have already created for this demo. We can take a rough look, a standard uh, read project with the HTML file and main.js file which start the view application. And for the view application, there is a hello world component there. Yeah, that's it. Let's run it quickly to see what it looks like. Because it's uh, PM PM dev and we open this local host. Yeah, so this is what project looks like. We can go back to the uh, project. Now let's try to install our bit component we have just created. Let's stop the fir server first and run pmpm install. Just like the website, uh, I will use pmpm to install. So copy this command and go back to VS Code and run the installation. Yeah, so now we already well installed this component into this project. Then next what we could do is just import the component, for example, my first from the component name is just follow the component ID and the scope. So now we import the component into this project. I think we can maybe we can just add it to at the end of the component of the of the application. Now let's run uh PMPM dev again to see what this looks like. Let's go back to the preview. So yes you can see the component already there but there's no title. There's things we need to we need to pass the prof named title, for example, my first save. Then go back to the browser. You can see the buttons here uh, with red color and it's functioning very well. I think that's for the demo. That's all for the demo. Uh, to know more about the best practice and workflow on Beats for Vue, please check out our website further. If you have any feedback, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.